20 seconds to go in overtime. Seven on the shot clock. Here's Middleton. Off the bar. Three to Durant. Down to 10 seconds left. Hart back to Durant. Guarded by Holiday. Durant for three. Comes up with an air ball with three tenths of a second remaining. And the Milwaukee Bucks with the 113-111 lead. And that's just fatigue right there. You got to admire Durant going for the win. Had the smaller defender on him, Holiday, who got into his space. But Durant asked to do so much, as you said, Mar. 53 minutes, 48 points. Coming up with just a little short here down the stretch. But you had the ball in the right player's hands. He just could not come through, but the Bucks Looking to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. And I'll tell you what, Marv, the way both teams have played, the Bucks adversity, not playing well, game five. Nets under man, both teams deserve to advance. It's been fantastic effort. It's been a joy to watch and cover with you. All right, here's Giannis blooping one to Lopez and that'll do it. The Bucks beat the Nets in seven. They do it in overtime. They're headed to the Eastern Conference Final where they'll take on the winner between the Sixers and the Hawks. We will play game seven tomorrow night in Philadelphia for the Bucks, their first ever rule the foul game. will be reviewed to determine seven if it happened prior to the expression of the game. After losing their previous six. Oh, apparently they called a foul. That was the announcement on the public address, although players are congratulating each other. The question was, was the foul called before the buzzer sounded? Yeah, it looked like the foul might have been called, or at least the foul occurred before mm -hmm. even Lopez had the ball Instant in his possession. Instant replay has confirmed that the foul occurred after the release, oh. but prior to Lopez touching it. Foul was correctly assessed. Point three on the game clock, the shoot penalty for two shots. Well, I was wrong again. <laughs> so the Bucks, following an excellent regular season, finishing as the third seed in the East, advanced to the conference final. And Durant Lopez coming together. Lopez congratulated by, by Durant and uh, Lopez is wondering what's going on as he's sent to the foul line and uh, he will take the two shots. Looking for the basketball. I'm not entirely sure what happened there, no. but just a fantastic game. Both teams leaving it out there. Durant was incredible, hardened, hurt. Giving it all out there, playing for the Nets. High expectations for this ball club, this franchise. Injuries came at the wrong time. But the Bucks, they've lost two years in a row, Marv, here in the second round. And finally got over that hurdle. So the foul occurred before the buzzer sounded. But before the ball was, was actually thrown in because they put point three back on the clock. So we got the two shots from Lopez. So I guess I was right. Yeah. <laughs> and now Joe Harris just flips it over to Jeff Green. Now that does it. The Bucks with the 115-111 victory over the Brooklyn Nets. And for the Nets, a season which saw them Finished 48 and 24, second seed behind the Sixers. But an injury hit season with the big three all going out at different times. Kyrie Irving obviously not available uh, for these few playoff games uh, in this series against Milwaukee and 
James Harden had his run of injuries, as did Kevin Durant. And it comes down to an overtime loss to the Bucs. Milwaukee had never won a game seven on the road. And they win it here tonight, 115 to 111. And advance to the conference final after several disappointing postseason experiences. Yeah, no question, Marv. Several, they finally got over the hump. They beat a, a talented Brooklyn team and advancing on to the conference finals. This team fortunate to get out of here with the win in this game seven, Marv. Durant with 48 points.